Well, good morning, guys. Bright and early, crack of dawn as usual. Wherever I am, I always try to rise with the sun, but being that we are in Canada at this time of year, uh, the sun doesn't actually really rise, so <laughs> I get to choose when I get to wake up. So it's, uh, it's noon again, surprise, surprise. Windows are fogging up as usual. Uh, yesterday, got to go to a uh, choir, and um, yeah, my aunt is in a choir, and she is the youngest among the uh, entire uh, choir, and uh, it was nice. Uh, we got to hear a lot of uh, Christmas holiday theme songs, so I really enjoyed that. I'm probably a little bit too open with my location, um, but you guys aren't gonna kill me, right? So, <laughs> fingers crossed, don't kill me. Hey. Swasson, but it has a T-A-W-Duat. Swasson. You'll see signs on the freeway that say ferry terminal. Okay. Well, I've decided to go check out something on Vancouver Island. A lot of tourists go there. It's called Sacred. Come along with me. Let's hop on a ferry. Swasson Point. Okay. That's what I'm going to take. Good morning, guys. Finally leaving the nest. I was with family for the last, I think, three days. Had access to running water. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, lucky me. I'm spoiled. Spoiled van dweller. Uh, <clears throat> so, I right now, I'm leaving. I'm heading uh, to go get on a ferry. That'll be cool. Right now, I'm going to do a quick grocery run so I can get some van dweller necessities. That's right. We're going to get some baby wipes and water. Just got a little something for lunch here. Also picking up some Sacramento, but I'm not gonna pick it up here. What's with that price, man? That's really expensive. To your prostate health. I do here. I've always wanted a place to do this. Just have like ready, you know, to cook meals, just all prepared for you. And that's pretty affordable too, man. Why don't they do that in the states more often? I know they do it. It's very popular in Asian cultures. I just got out of Safeway. I got nothing here. I'm shopping around, I'm starting to load up my basket, getting some foods, got a lot of oysters, got some chips, got a sandwich, and I'm just like, okay, well, where's the water? Where's the baby? I walked around the store a couple times, they don't have it, man. They have like little things of water, and yeah, they had diapers, but no baby. So I'm not gonna give them my business. What the heck was that? That was crazy, I've never seen that before. It's a whole Safeway, but without a lot of stuff in it, so. I'm gonna find a safe way that can fulfill my needs. You did not fulfill my needs here. So I, I just uh, left, abandoned the basket. I put the stuff back in the refrigeration section, but uh, I just let it. I, that kind of pissed me off, man. Fill up on some gas here, and you know I'm in Canada, so everything's priced uh, in liters, I guess. So dollar thirty-eight per liter. And this is the weirdest thing to me. You have to pay for. Well, I'll show you. So I put my card in and it detects a chip, right? And then it asks me, select fuel amount. Well, how about I just fill up my, uh, <laughs> how about I just fill up my tank and then you charge me like a uh, normal gas station? What the heck is this? I don't know. Um, judging by how low my gauge is, I guess in between 40 and 60, but it seems like they lost a little bit of uh, sale there. Oh yes, I'm in Canada, so I have to specify English, no French. That wasn't working across the street, so I'm trying good old Chevron here, the American mega corporation. What's up with this place, man? It's only debit. They don't do credit? All right, apparently it's because I'm from the States, so I have to sign each receipt. So I'm doing that. The pumps are a lot slower here, and they don't have the little clip, so I have to sit here and hold it. But I put decided to put $60 in there. They ask you amount. You can't just fill it up. It's kind of a pain in the buttocks. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. 
Long, long time of me sitting here pumping this gas. A long, long pump. Hurry the heck up. Oh my god, hurry up. Holy crap, gas is really expensive up here. I had probably a quarter tank. I only got a quarter tank of gas for 60 fucking dollars, man. Because of the exchange rate, when I put in the hard dollar amount of $60, that wasn't actually 60 USD, that was $60 CAD, Canadian. The, you know those loonies? Those loony coins? That loony money? Yeah. The name of this place is Thrifty Foods, but do not be fooled by the name. These gallons of water were $3 each, so, and I basically got a little bit of lunch and uh, two bags of chips, and it came to 35 freaking dollars. Wow. I'm hauling a bike on my car. This guy's hauling a chair on his roof, almost about to fall off his roof. Man, I am uh, not feeling too good guys, a little bit under the weather. Uh, I don't really have a cold, but I'm feeling really dizzy and uh, lightheaded and sneezed a couple times, so pray for me, fellas. I didn't have the regular $2, $1.58 thing of Huggies, so I got this. It's $184 uh, for $10, but it's a lot of money, but don't worry, guys. I'm rolling in that baby wipe money. JK, JK, I almost can't afford to wipe my own butt. All right, guys, uh, I'm no longer with the family where we mostly had a vegan diet, so <laughs> I'm gonna splurge, and uh, right quick, I'm gonna take out the, the trash. There you go, there's a little donation for you. Cool, it looks like they got those automated menu ordering systems here, too. Are you kidding me? There's a Walmart right here? Ah! I thought that was the last stop before you got onto the ferry, that thrifty, which is anything but thrifty, man. I spent like 30 bucks on lunch. And I got a few other supplies. You guys, you guys know what I'm talking about there. We're riding into the sunset, boys. Heading for the terminal. And I'm from the States, and I'm not familiar with this, yeah, so... Yeah, the uh, the point will be closer. Leaves at 3.15. It's running a little bit behind. Okay. So you're on the correct lane. Any propane gas cans, any dangerous goods inside of it? Uh, do you have a propane tank? Yeah. Okay. And, and how many from? Like, Just me. All right, boys. Riding off to the sunset. Ain't cheap. Seventy some dollars. She asked me if I had a propane tank. I thought that was gonna be a no go, but luckily I'm okay. I just need to put this tag over it here. All right. And now we wait. All right. Put the tag on the propane, and now we wait. She said that it will be here at 3:25. That gives me about 45 minutes. There's a gift shop over yonder, so I'm gonna go check that out. Come with me. Yeah, that was them just saying that there was a 25 minute delay going to Nanaimo. That's me. Hey guys, this is known as the Mid Island Express. That's what they call the connection between uh, Swanson Terminal, that's where I'm heading from, to Nanaimo. That's the name of the connection, it's called the Mid Island Express. So this is a 16,000 square foot market style facility. It's got lots of crap to choose from uh, for the tourist. Uh, the company? Hey. Well, it's got a lot of shitty overpriced trinkets you might be interested in. Uh, just look at the price of this uh, Columbia jacket. This jacket, it's not even insulated. It's just a windbreaker. So if you want to be completely taken advantage of, just uh, forget to pack your jacket and um, be prepared to pay for these this high, these high priced last minute items. So I mean, forget about it. But just forget about it. There are WalMarts in Vancouver Island too, so everything is just so expensive here. But I was happy to see that there's lots of places to pick up a lunch and even a coffee uh, while you kill some time waiting for your delayed ferry, like I am. Guys, so I'm just chilling here, waiting for the ferry to arrive, killing some time. I'm uh, unloading all the video from my uh, car DVR, copying it to the 4 terabyte drive so I can edit it later. 
Hey, word to the wise. Word from the wise. Word... I never understood that saying. Word from a wise person to a wise... You're wise if you listen to me. I'm a wise guy. Uh, listen. These bottle jugs of water right here, this uh, translucent plastic, um, compared to like the more crystal clear, you know, you can see through it better. Um, these taste like crap, man. <laughs> They've got this plastic taste residue to it. I don't recommend those, but that's all they had that was available. And what really kills me is, like I said, I paid three bucks for each one of those. So here's where I am right now. Last chance, Starbucks. Uh, and then there's like all five different lanes that go this way. And I think, I'm not sure, I think they put me on this line because I'm heading to, uh, I'm not going to tell you guys, it's a secret. Stay tuned. Check out this old Model T chassis or carriage. Look at this old Model T carriage. Oh man, I couldn't find my keys and the whole lane is waiting for me. <laughs> oh shit, man. This guy's like, he's like, hurry up, man. He's like, come on. I have no idea, dude. This is the first time I know this. Looks like he's angry. He's looking at me like he's pissed. <laughs> shit, dude, I couldn't find my keys. That guy was pissed. Oh yes, this is gonna be an epic view, dude, if I get this side. I'm gonna have a view. Look at my view! Woo! Awesome. Guys, this is epic. Look at my view right here. Wow, dude. You guys thought I had a horrible view count on YouTube. Look at my view here on the ship. I can sit from <laughs> here in the bed. That's my view. Looking out into the water. Wow! Is that worth 70 bucks, that view? I think so. Yeah, that's the first time I've actually seen a Canadian upset. And I'm really sorry, I was back here, I was sitting right here, and I needed to get my SD card out, and then I got up to the seat, and I'm like, oh, where are my keys? And I was freaking out, checking all my pockets, and they were back here. I finally, you know, <laughs> got in the driver's seat, and the guy's like, flag me, come on! And he had a, like, kind of upset look on his face, so. I didn't know, I thought Canadians never got upset. built in 1976. It's a little bit older than myself. It's 6,500 tons. It can carry, it can carry 1,200 people. Top speed, 21 knots. Horsepower. Horsepower is 12,000. It's got a coastal cafe, a gift shop, kid zone, pet area, work study stations, elevators, and washrooms. You're making me holler for just one dollar. Making me holler for just one stinky dollar. Come on now, boys. Why you gotta make me holler for just one dollar? Come on now. Don't make the boy holler for just one dollar. Don't do that to the boy. Damn, that ain't a lot of money, son. Why you make him holler like that? You gonna do that to him? You gonna make the boy holler for just one stinking little tiny dollar? You gonna make that boy holler? Come on now. Don't do that to the boy. What the boy do to you? What the boy do to you? Don't make the boy holler. Just give him a dollar. Take it easy on the boy. Okay, well, that sucks. I didn't realize that they were gonna lock me out from my vehicle during the... And I was hoping to take a nap on the way, but I guess not. Up to the passenger deck. You can go ahead of me. Sorry. Bayward needs some coffee, and he's gonna pay with this funny money right here. Look at this. Is this recyclable? You can see right through it. It's actually kind of cool looking. Have faith in this currency, just like your faith that we put a man on the moon. Oh, how I missed you. Man, home on wheels. Welcome into the heaven of the ocean. By the way, the truth and the life will be the culmination of hope we have 
in the ocean splendor. For a moment I could see the light. It was so bright I tried to reach it. I took a few steps forward and my hands were grasping to get it, but it's too far away. I can see it for miles. I long, as does every human being, to be at home wherever I find myself. The van, the bed on wheels. A home is wherever I make it. I just unlock the door and splendor is abound. Carried by the endless waves, flowing to the return to the sea, and then hide in the ocean depths. And everybody feels happy and pain, so the innocent heart in us, just the same. Hey guys, so I'm going to be retiring for the night. I'm parked in Nanaimo for the Nido, and I'm behind a uh, cab here, just parked on the side of the street. It's really easy to find parking near McDonald's, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, thank you for all the comments. Really enjoy reading those, especially the detailed ones. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to have kind of like a friend on the road. So thank you for being a friend. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Travel down the road and back again. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. See you in the next episode. Please give it an upvote if you liked it. All that good stuff. All right. Talk to you later.